All right, guys, well, welcome. I'm going to try and do a quick uh, out-of-the-box review here of the uh, parts for the Freewing 80-90mm A10, which is an incredible airplane. We've got some unboxing videos out there already, and the guys did a great job. But what I wanted to do was go over some detailed parts that I was interested in and some really cool uh, quick uh, modification tips for some of those who want to super detail this bad boy. So let's get started real quick. First of all, this wing right here feels like a 2 before to me. This thing is solid. It's amazing. And if you look, and I'm going to try and get that just right into the light there so that you can see it. It's got some really nice, smooth finish on it. It doesn't really look like foam that much, especially if you're standing back just a couple feet. Um, here's the detail for the navigation light right here. This forward section right here is the actual LED. And right here, they've provided you, it looks to me like, a space if you want to add some strobes. And what I'm going to add in there, I think, is the uh, Xeon strobe kit from uh, Chaos, uh, RC, not Chaos, RC Aerodyne, uh, which is, uh, I think, scaleflying.com. I'm going to have a, a link to that underneath the video for those of you who want to look at it. But I think it's a $50 or $60 enhancement. You get a pair of Xeon strobes just like you'd find on a full-scale airplane, and you can wire them in. If you look right here underneath, there's a channel that you can run the additional lighting all the way up into the aircraft. Also, I wanted to show you the uh, landing gear detail here real quick. Let's take this thing off the... Uh... off the tripod. And right there, there's the landing gear. These are foam tires. They got like a diamond pattern tread on them. And then you got the plastic hubs. Also on the bottom of the uh, wing, you've got the hard point mounts. And these are very sturdy plastic. Right here, guys, are the engine nacelles. These are the 80, 80 millimeter variants. And again, I'm going to come off the tripod here real quick. I want you to see the fan detail. There's your spinner right there. It's a nine bladed uh, EDF fan. Okay. I'm planning on, uh, as for my detailing, painting up that spinner, but you're going to have to be real careful uh, to not take the darn thing out of balance. So I'm just going to be using a real light paint application in that process there. For those of you who are interested in detailing the vertical stabilizers. This is what the pre-existing detail looks like on the outside. And I've got some really neat ideas for this, guys. What I plan on doing is adding actual working uh, photoluminescent uh, tapes here for formation lights or whatever it is that they actually have on these things. But you've got the, the decals for them in the kit. And the way I intend to do it is on eBay, you can get this photoluminescent tape, okay, which is benign. You, you hold it in the light for uh, 10, 20 minutes and you get, you know, maybe a, a 20 minute charge out of it, but that's not the, that's not the crooks of it. The way we're going to do it is we're going to take these, in addition to that, these very, very light plastic four millimeter, uh, square conduits that I picked up off of eBay for just, I don't know, a couple bucks maybe. And we're going to use these little fishing lure style glow lights like you like you see at parties and stuff like that and the way we're going to do that is we're going to trim this stock down here to the length that we need and then we're going to dig out the foam on here the way you would do that is once you've trimmed it down you press this in lightly so that you've got a perfect outline and then you take an exacto knife and very carefully you're going to carve out the foam here so that you can have a perfect pressure fit on this stuff and again it's very light so a pressure fits going to work then once you've got the length of conduit that you need you take this tape right here and you place it in right over here and you leave a little tab sticking out so that you can grab this stuff when it's installed on the airplane and I got a little example right here off of one of my other airplanes where I carved out the foam okay so I made a little channel there very very carefully those of you who've got experience with this stuff know how to do this already and I've got the pressure fit conduit right here. That goes in there just like that, okay? Flush. And when you're out at the field at night, 
you go ahead and you activate this little thing right here, see? Okay? And it fits perfectly right inside this conduit, just like this. See that? And then you pressure fit it right into the foam, just like this. Just like that, so it's flush. And you've got yourself pretty much a perfect formation light right there. Okay, and if it's longer, you can use more than one of the little glow sticks, all right? All this stuff can be obtained off of eBay, but once you combine this with the pre-existing lighting on this airplane and the strobe lights, the Xeon strobe lights that I was talking to you about, man, you're going to have a show, all right? So that's a good upgrade right there, and these things don't weigh anything. Look at this. If you look here, okay, this stuff doesn't even register, really. It weighs almost nothing. So again, you're going to take this conduit, you're going to cut it to the length that you desire, position it on the stab, depress it, make a slight depression, and then carefully you're going to cut along the length of that depression, very carefully. A little bit inside the uh, dimensions, just a tiny bit, maybe a hair, whatever it takes to get a good pressure fit. And it's so light that it's going to stay in there and that should work out really cool. Okay guys, so moving on here real fast. Here's some other things, all right? This is the main fuselage. That's the gun. See that? See how cool that is? They've got it hollowed out in there so that you can detail this sucker yourself. And man, is it going to be something. This right here is the probably the most delicate part of this entire aircraft right around, but look at the inside of this. Look at how much room you get in here to work with. We're gonna put sound system in here, uh, whatever size batteries we want. Just gotta get that CG right, right? But I recommend that you don't even touch this anywhere along here if you can help it. Very, very fragile. That's gonna be the weak point on this airplane. But I think that it was necessary for the design, but it really is cool. Look at that. You can see the tire down in there in the light. For these lines, for these panel lines up here, all right, let's show you what we're going to use on that. But what we want to do to enhance those panel lines or pretty much anything else on the airplane where you want to get a little bit of weathering is get yourself one of these airbrushes. Also, you can get that online, eBay, Amazon, wherever the best deal is. This is a uh, double action gravity feed talon airbrush. Probably, uh, probably, you know, a pretty good airbrush. I'm not real familiar. I've, I've done some artwork in the past with these, but I don't think you really need to be an artist to, to kind of make your airplane look a little bit more creative. And I think that those of you who are going to detail this thing out know what I'm talking about. Well, this is a good way to go. Also, you'll need a compressor for that that's compatible. Okay, so here's a neat thing. The cockpit on this airplane very, very nice. Let's go over here in the light so that you can get a look down in there. All right. You can see the HUD display there, all the detail work they did. You got your pilot. Even detailed it out back here a little bit behind the seat. Now, what's going to happen is this thing's going to gator up, okay, out in the sunlight once it gets hot in here, just a little bit. That foam in there will start gatoring, and that's just a real ugly mess when that happens. There's a couple ways you can deal with this. Some guys talk about cutting vents, okay, which I guess is a perfectly acceptable solution. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to cover all that with aluminum tape, just carefully. Just detail that out, cover it with aluminum tape, and then I'm going to repaint the surfaces in there. Just paint right over the tape, and that way there's no gatoring whatsoever. I may even cut a vent or two, but that's the way I plan on doing it. In the decal set, you've got uh, a heating element, I think it is, that goes around the inside of this window. You want to get in there and apply that on the inside. Okay, that's the way it is on the real thing. But the cool thing I'm going to do is there's a coating on this window here. And you see some of the guys have that online. I imagine maybe they used clear paint or, or something like that. I don't know. But uh, what I chose to do was to go with this film, this headlight film for your car that you can get off of eBay, okay? And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to apply that to the inside of these uh, two window panes right here. To give you an idea of what that's going to look like, I cut off a little piece here, okay? Again, I'm going to be applying to this to the inside, but all it is is it's a, uh, 
a translucent film with an adhesive backing. Okay, so you peel it, you peel it right off of there, okay? And that on the inside of the window, you're just going to apply it just like this. And that is going to give you, it might be a little hard to see on the camera, but it's going to give you a really awesome film looking effect. Also, you'll see online, when you look at the detail photos, there's a little American flag right here in the corner. I'm not, I think it's on the other side, but just for the sake of illustration, I'm just going to print that up on my printer. I'm going to pop that in right underneath that film, and man, is that gonna, that's going to look great in there. So that's, uh, that's my idea on that. A quick look at some of the ordnance detail, just so those of you guys that are going to be tricking this thing out, you can get an idea of what some of that looks like. I'm not sure, I think this is called the Hell, Hellfire. That's got a pretty good plastic piece on the end. These things are pretty solid. They've got uh, some plastic uh, reinforcements and then of course the attach points for the uh, for the wing mounting and hard point areas. And these are uh, also very detailed and very sturdy and well made. Okay, just giving you the detailed look at this airplane. Okay. Here's the uh, rear of the fuselage for you, those of you who are gonna detail it out. You get a couple of these little foam looking things here that might, you, you know, you can sand off, I guess, if you want to. But then you've got uh, also some detailed areas back here along with the aft navigation light. Of course, you know, the sky's the limit on what you can do with this thing. Pretty nice foam finish. You know, there's a little bit of that kind of that foam look. It appears to me that the built up wing that has the, you know, the ribbing and the aluminum parts and the, and the, I think carbon fiber uh, spars and everything in there. I think that foam they use is a different kind of foam than what they use on the fuselage. Either way, the overall finish on this airplane, the fit and finish is amazing and it's gonna be great to detail. It's a great blank canvas for those of us who wanna do that stuff, okay? Just a real quick look at the uh, horizontal stabilizer and what you get. There's your wiring harness for that. Okay, so just to finish up here, Here's some of the things they give you along with the kit that's going to help you uh, with the detailing and the assembly and all that. Uh, just real quick, it's mentioned in most of the un other unboxing videos, but looks like you get a little bit of contact cement there. You get the pedo uh, tube that goes out on the wingtip, and then you've got some uh, just some straight up plywood, I think it is, uh, strakes that you're going to mount on the bottom of the fuselage. You get another bag that has the hardware for the uh, flight control servo uh, attachments, the push rods. They also give you a little bit of uh, non-slip covering for your battery compartment, which I think is really cool because in the past you've had to go down to the hardware store and get that stuff, right? So uh, there's that. There's some antennas and things like that in that bag too. As for the decals in this airplane, There's a bunch of them, and this is what makes this kit so great. It comes to you blank, so it's a blank canvas for you to detail however you see fit before you apply the decals. You can even do, uh, like some guys are doing, custom-made decals. Uh, that's what's really cool about this offering. Now, what they've got in this kit is a combination of water transfer and a uh, peel and stick, okay? A lot of this stuff, all right, is water transfer which I think is just terrific. Water transfer, okay. Also water transfer. Water transfer, water transfer, water transfer, all right. Here's the peel and stick stuff right here, okay. Basically the squadron insignias and stuff like that, all right. Then, they give you a nice big reference sheet for three different uh, squadrons that you can do on this airplane. Okay. This one here for your ordnance, so you can trick that stuff out too. The only spare part that I bought for this airplane so far is another set of decals. Because I know me, 
all right? I'm gonna goof that up somewhere, or, or maybe I'll just change my mind at some point. This is a good thing to have, and it's a, uh, not a very expensive investment. I also would recommend that you pick these up before they go out of stock, because I think they're gonna go out fast, okay? All right, guys, well, that's it. That's what I wanted to show you for the Freewing A10. You know all about these. Pick these up online. If you look hard enough, you can get good deals. They show you how to use the whistles over there at uh, Motion RC. That's a big upgrade. I'm throwing in the sound system. This thing's worth it. This is a high-class airplane, guys. Pick this thing up. Everything that I've seen and know about it tells me that this is the way to go. All right, it's going to be a lot of fun to detail this airplane out. And I hope you do. Oh, also, on the landing gear, uh, just like in, in some of the past projects you saw me do with the F-16 and things like that. You know, I did that with a paint pen before. That didn't work out so good. Let's get in there with uh, a good coat of uh, spray rattle can primer and uh, then a good coat of gloss white on those gear, you know. Pull them apart, get some good detail. Do the hubs, too. The hubs look plastic. They are plastic. They look plastic. Do them. Put the primer on there, you know. Take the time to mask out the wheel, mask out the rubber there, and, and prime up that center hub, and then uh, do a good coat of at least rattle can spray gloss on that. And then go in there with, uh, you know, met metallic looking paints and, and get each of those little uh, bolts that bolt the hub together. I mean, it's going to look fantastic, guys. This airplane has so much potential, and I can't wait to show you the finished product when I'm all done with it. Again, it's been a real pleasure having you all with us, and... Uh, well, with me, rather. <laughs> it's just me. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great, uh, great uh, run with the A-10.